Hello everybody. Configuring IPv4 static and default routes is our task. In this activity, we will configure static and default routes. A static route is a route which is entered manually by the network administrator to create a reliable and safe route. There are four different static routes that are used in this activity. A recursive static route, a directly attached static route, a fully specified static route, and a default route. Part 1. Examine the network and evaluate the need for static routing. There are five networks in total. R1 needs three static routes, R2 needs two static routes, and R3 needs three static routes. because there are no routes to these networks on R1. Part 2. Configure Static and Default Routes Step 1. Configure Recursive Static Routes on R1. A recursive static route relies on the next hop router, in order for packets to be sent to its destination. A recursive static route requires two routing table lookups because it must first look in the routing table for the destination network and then look up the exit interface or direction of the network for the next hop router. R1 has roots to the R2 and R3 lands, but R2 and R3 do not have roots to R1. Step 2. Configure directly attached static roots on R2. A directly attached static route relies on its exit interface in order for packets to be sent to its destination, while a recursive static route uses the IP address of the next hop router.
to show directly connected networks only, access command, show IP root connected. Access command, show IP root static, to show static routes only. Letter S at the beginning of a routing line stands for a static route, and letter C stands for a connected route. Step 3. Configure a default route on R3. A default route, also known as the gateway of last resort, is a network route used by a router. When no other known route exists for a destination network, a static route is used to route traffic to a specific network. A default route has a start at the beginning of the routing line. Step 4. Document the commands for fully specified routes. A fully specified route is a static route that is configured with an exit interface and the next hop address. Step 5. Verify static crude configurations. To show static routes, we can access command, show IP route static, or show IP route. Part 3. Verify connectivity. That's all for this activity. Thank you for watching.